Bam! What is going on, folks? Life Lessons with Juvie. I'm your host, Juvie the Kid. Hit me up on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, at J-U-V-Y-T-H-A-K-I-D. Had to move that a little bit. Uh, let's get to the topics. Darth Lucifer. How they should make Old Republic canon. Uh, if you're not from... Oh. If you're not familiar uh, with what, like, the Old Republic is, uh, the Old Republic is, uh, like, a storyline and everything uh, from Star Wars. Uh, A lot of people um, used to, if you remember, I don't know, anybody out there, uh, there used to be a PC game for it. Uh, I believe there's there's probably graphic novels and everything to go with it as well. Um, A lot of people have been trying to... uh, <laughs> rally up for a get like a Netflix series or just anything involving the old republic um I think the best way to go with that would be uh a Netflix series for sure um I don't know for me I think it's one of those things like uh when everybody freaked out and was like oh Disney said like all these stories aren't canon anymore it's uh, I don't know in their like movie thing like yeah i guess it's not canon that just means like they're not going to use it for those movies um i feel like if the books were written they're still out there for you and to enjoy you know it's still in the universe you know what i mean um but they should definitely make some sort of adaptation about the old republic uh i would love to see a netflix series do it but at the same time i don't know like, I don't know, obviously the online stuff and, like, certain channels, um, they're just kind of doing their own thing now, you know what I mean? Um, HBO with Game of Thrones, like, that's super dope. That definitely wouldn't have been on, like, a regular, uh, like, cable, like, channel or whatever, so I don't know. Um, yeah, I say go with the Netflix one. Vagtus underscore Bax War. Capital punishment for or against and why? Um, I don't know. There's all like a lot of the time with like certain cases where like. Oh, sorry about that. A lot of times with the like uh, certain like, qu- like cases that involve like the death penalty. There's too many like like factors involved for me. Um, a lot of the ones where it's like, you know. The, the person was like fucking 15 or 16 and they were tried as an adult. And then you talk to them again when they're like in their late twenties or thirties, you're talking to that. That's two different people. Unless obviously like, you know, they feel no remorse. They don't give a shit or whatever. But like, you know, when someone goes from being like still basically like a kid to a fucking adult, like those are two different people. You know what I mean? Um, if that person really does feel remorse and everything and that person does, like if that person truly is, I guess you could say rehabilitated, then, you know, you got to understand like that person probably made a mistake, you know, they're probably young and dumb and just, it could have been under an influence of something, whether it's friends or a substance. Um, so I don't know, like it's fucking, uh, you know what, this is what, this is what we should do. It should be left up to the families um, of the victims because, like, you put you put it in the hands of a judge and a jury that what that really they, like they're they have no ties to it at all. Um, I think it should come down to like the victim's friends and family. You know what I mean? Like, let them decide what happens. Uh, live out your days in punishment, or you know, face like a death penalty. Uh, hmm. At this, see, and this is such a it gets a thing where I struggle with because it's, you know. I don't. I don't think it's right that we sh- we should decide who lives, like who gets to live and die, but, you know, if you're fucking, if you're one of those creepers that are just always trying to like, you know, get a kid in the back of your car or something. I don't know. I. D- I can't really make an argument of why they shouldn't face capital punishment. You know what I mean? (sighs) See, like, that's the thing. It's like, this is one of those topics where in some cases I get it 
And in some cases, I feel there needs to be more research or something done. Um, or just, you know, put it in like the people who are dealing with this situation, put it in their hands, let them decide what that person uh, gets to face in their their life, whatever it might be. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's one of those things, like, like I said, like if you're younger and you make a mistake, you know what I'm saying? Like there might, the victim's family might even want to come in for that, like rehabilitation, like meeting and they can decide because maybe they feel different about it as well. You know, they've come to terms and been like, you know what? You made a mistake. We understand that and we forgive you. We don't want, we don't want to see you die. You know what I mean? Like, uh. I think a lot of the times it's just uh, people jump on board and they're like, well, the court said it's okay. Well, courts make mistakes all the fucking time. You know what I mean? Um, But, you know, I also also think it needs to be like certain things need to be fucking revised. Like, you know, some, you know, some person like preys on kids and fucking gets them to do, you know, dirty thing to them or whatever have you and they get like fucking five years someone you know can make a mistake and someone dies and there there goes your life like i i don't know i feel like it's one of those things like if you're if you're a fucking like if you're a pedophile or like whatever like like i feel like those people should really be like more held on a capital punishment level um Especially if there is no rehabilitation for you. You know what I mean? Like, I can't... You can't let these people out walking around where people's, like, kids are and shit. I don't know. It's a tough one. It's a tough one. Uh, I guess I could say... I'm, I'm for it in some cases. Against it in some. And other ones, I just, like, I feel like... It needs to be, like, a new system of deciding what this, like, what the outcome would be of this situation. Um, So, I don't know. That's my take on it, I guess. This has been Life Lessons with Juvie. I've been your host, Juvie the Kid. Hit me up on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at J-U-V-Y-T-H-A-K-I-D. My quiet kids, freaks, and weirdos, for the love of everybody. Keep being weird.